Welcome to our Spring Street project. Previous, this home was built by a developer. Once our owners purchased the block, they really wanted to make this home their own. So it meant getting rid of the glossy white kitchen and warming this space up, which is exactly what we've done. The entire open plan living was quite long and narrow, so we really wanted to accentuate the length of the home. How we did that is, we've zoned this open plan space so that every area has a key role to play. On the left hand side is our formal sitting area. As you can see, we've installed a new gas fireplace which heats up the whole area. In the formal sitting area, we have this box in the corner. This hides our MBN, our telephone, everything else, all the ugly things that you want hidden away. What we've done is created a perforated screen so that it still ventilates, which makes all the appliances work without a hitch. We wanted to create a feature out of the gas fireplace, so what we've done is we've clad it on all sides with a product called Neolith. This is a porcelain slab, so it's really great for heat retention, really durable, doesn't scratch, the perfect material for this application. Underneath the fireplace, we've installed a kicker in a jellyfish brass. It's a really mottled, really antique kind of looking brass, just to add a bit of warmth to this area. It also has allowed us to raise the fireplace off the floor, so that when you're sitting here of an evening, the flames are at eye level. Leaving from our formal sitting, we then come into the lounge room area of the home. Here we've got our beautiful chaise lounge, which directs itself to the TV and of course to the fireplace. We've incorporated a large storage unit, which can also double up as a bench seat. So when our family has multiple people over, people can be sitting on the bench seat and sitting on the lounge, still conversing with one another. On this length of the room is the kitchen. As you can see, it's black and white, really simple and timeless, but we've warmed it up with hints of brass in our pendant lights and the warmer timber of the walnuts, which you'll see throughout. The kitchen itself really lends itself to entertaining. We've got plenty of appliances, great space between all of the areas. We were wanting to keep all of our existing window openings in this project, so we had to work with the sizes we have. This window in particular is quite tall, so what we did was we incorporated full height cabinetry the full way around the window. This then allowed us to have a little reading nook with an upholstered top. So you can sit here, read a book, enjoy the natural light, but at night time you can put down the blinds so you've got privacy. In the kitchen, we were working with this beautiful long splashback window. This floods so much natural light during the daytime. But at nighttime, when you want the privacy, an electric blind takes care of that. To separate the kitchen and dining, we didn't want to create a full height wall. So what we did was create cabinetry around the fridge, but we dropped it from the ceiling height. Above the fridge, we've integrated some wine storage. So behind these sliding doors, We've got our beautiful wine bottle storage. We've clad the entire internal of that unit in a bronze metallic finish so that it reflects the bottles and gives you something beautiful to look at. Which then leads to the back side of the fridge, which is our dining room. So what we've done is we've incorporated the dining into the kitchen space. Rather than having just a simple dining table, we really wanted to make sure that the elements and materials used in the kitchen then flowed through into our dining room. So when you're standing back on the length of the room, you've got this beautiful symmetry between the kitchen and the dining space. In this project, we wanted to use a very sophisticated palette of materials. So in the dining room alone, what we've done is we've got this beautiful high line pendant, which is an antique brass finish. Then we drop down a level to our solid walnut bench top. And then below, every detail has been added in this project. Underneath, which forms the plinth and the base of our dining table, is this 3D shaped tile in a porcelain finish. And you can see in the edge detail, what we've done is add in a brass strip so that every element is related to one another. The end of this entertainment space is softened by these wall-to-wall -wall sheer curtains. This provides a very soft backdrop to our entire room. From the interior of the home, it then leads onto the exterior with bifold doors. We then head out onto our outdoor deck. To start with in our entertaining area outdoors, we got rid of the old timber balustrade. It was really heavy and didn't allow any natural light to come through. What we've done is we've replaced it with a laser cut pattern screen. We've powder coated it in a beautiful dark grey colour. It allows the natural light to come through, you've still got privacy and it also is great for safety because we are quite high off the ground. At this end of the outdoor entertaining area, we've created an outdoor kitchen. We have a built-in barbecue with storage either side. The great thing about this location is you can be cooking down one end, people waiting at the dining table and the casual seat. So it's all very inclusive for entertaining. 